Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here right on Clemhawks Whoa. as we just got news dropped by Roch uh, Kubatko. I'd probably butch that, that there's been a trade in the MLB. But before you get started, thank you for all your support on the That's channel between Yak City, Clem, and myself. We appreciate you. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like Ball, button, that as we got sports from the NHL and MLB. Uh, my channel is going to be starting up here on probably Premier League and NFL. But let's get to this trade as the a Houston Astros are acquiring Trey Mancini from the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, reports came from Dan Connolly of The Athletic. Uh, Baltimore is acquiring multiple pitching prospects in return and that report was from Kubotko himself as this is a trade to help the Astros kind of move up in their division be that number one team in ultimately having the Mariners trading for Castillo Houston needed to do something as well you got the Angels who said they were keeping Otani today and the Angels not doing so good if you're trying to keep up with the Mariners try and get that first seed solidified you're gonna have to go out and that's what the Astros did in acquiring Trey Mancini like I said for multiple pitching prospects and as a Blue Jays fan I've seen a lot of Trey Mancini he brings a lot to the team uh, it's a, actually a surprising move from Baltimore's perspectives because they yes they are last I believe still last in the AL East but they're still over 500 this AL East division is stacked and I think Baltimore's realizing hey we're we're good but in no, this division down. we don't know if we're actually going to make the playoffs and that could have forced them to go and get a couple pitching prospects in return for Trey Mancini which I said He's a versatile guy. He can play outfield. He can play first base. He brings a great bat to the lineup, great defensively. And Houston, you guys should be fans of this trade. The guy is phenomenal. I like watching him play. Now to his stats, he's hitting 268 this season. You know, a lot of those games, you got to think, too, is in the AL East versus the Blue Jays, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Rays. It's That division is hard to hit against. Unless you're the oh, Jays and can put up 28 runs against Boston. But for Trey Mancini going to a weaker division in a sense where you got the A's that aren't even close to 500 or the Angels I mean that aren't hey. close to 500 uh, you get more opportunity and look for his numbers to actually start going up. He has 10 home runs, 41 RBIs this season. He's a career 270 hitter with 117 home runs, 350 RBIs. He doesn't steal much. He only has two career stolen bases, none this season. His OPS is 751, which is all right. And this guy can fit into your DH spot. He can play outfield. He can play first base. Whatever you're going to do. Maybe for the Houston Astros, this was a trade to fill in a spot. Maybe there's a second trade coming to get another relief pitcher, another starting pitcher to help your team out. But overall, this was a great trade by the Houston Astros. And it is what it is. I hope you guys are enjoying the rest of the day. Deadline's tomorrow. A lot of trades happening today. I'll catch you guys on the next one.